In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of adding one of these little social proof widgets on your website. We're going to talk specifically about proof source, and I'm going to set up a brand new account and literally put one of these widgets on the TechSmart Boss website in this video. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at this product called Proof Source. Uh, P R O V E S R C dot com, and it's a social proof uh, little pop up that shows on your website. You can see they're they're rotating some examples here. Now there, there's a right way to do these and a wrong way, and I, I I like the approach that Proof Source is is taking. I'll show you a couple examples. We'll set one up here in a second but sometimes these things can look a little sleazy and slimy i don't particularly like when they're popping up you know real people's names and locations and, and pulling in social profile pictures and things like that but what caught me with proof source was i was actually just surfing in the wild wild web and uh came across um design pickles price page don't ask me how i got here it was a i'm not looking for their services it was a long uh long thing that the reason i got there but what I noticed, let me refresh it and see if it'll pop back up here, is uh, they had a little social proof thing down here. And look at this little cute little animated pickle. 14 little gherkins just got their own ego-free personal designer in the last nine hours. I thought that was pretty nice because, one, it's like an aggregate. It's not personal. It had a little animated. I hadn't seen one quite like this before. And... You know, after I went in and inspected the element and did some stuff, I tracked it back to this company, Proof Source, which was pretty interesting. So I checked it out. There, there's a lot of these companies out there. In fact, if you go down to their footer, they actually do a good job telling you why they're a little bit different than Proof and FOMO and Proofly and some of the other ones that do this. One thing I do like is if you go to their pricing, what I've noticed in the past, either these companies are too expensive or they look a little slimy and unprofessional. They don't have a nice style sheet um, to their pop up. Hey, Proof Source looks like they are addressing a lot of my concerns. They got a free plan that's fully featured that goes up to a thousand monthly unique visitors. I think you could probably control that by putting the code on the specific pages, not on your entire website. And then they've got some pretty affordable plans as they go up. And, you know, they even support really large traffic uh, as well. So everything on this was looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the features. 100% real, you know, they're verifying authentic co conversions, which is important. You're not faking customers out. And they got a lot of good integrations. I mean, I, you know, I was taking a look at their, their integrations. Let's see if I can get back to where those were. And there we go. And, and they and they inter integrate well. I love the Zapier, which is always important. I, I noticed that we can use that to hook up to their webhook. And of course, they got a WordPress plugin and all kind of other things. So let's let's actually get started and do a quick setup here. Go through their process and see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up with my TechSmart Boss email address. Put in our password. Not using that one that. Safari is recommending. You'll notice I'm on Safari today and just my other browsers are a little occupied at the moment. All right. So now I would normally go and pop this into Google Tag Manager. Um, for today, I'm just going to pop it right into my WordPress theme on TechSmart Boss. And let's uh, go right into the editor. I'll put this in my uh, header right above the head tag. Again, I don't recommend you necessarily muck around in your WordPress unless you're very comfortable doing that. They do have a plugin that makes this extremely easy. I'm just going to do this this way today. So let me go ahead and pop this code right there and update my file. And we should be connected with what they gave us here. So now let's go back over here. Not sure if they're doing any validation or anything like that. Uh, okay, yeah, they actually are. So let me actually refresh my site see if I can get their code to execute Let's see if I might have to clear my cache oh yeah look at that it's already got some stuff here now this is now I didn't expect this and this is nice and I'm glad they told me here that only I can see this because I would be a little bit upset if they were starting to put some pop-ups on my site but look at that it's actually showing that um, it's installed and it's giving me a little example. I'm I'm not quite sure how they're doing that, but that 
is pretty doggone cool. Let's click that let's go button. And now it takes me right into their environments. That's I like that. That's really nice. Now, what I was, as I was researching their website, they give you the ability to do page visits. And that's that's nice because you, you got one of the problems that you have if you use these, if you got a low traffic site, is you don't have a lot of conversions. You want social proof, but it could kind of be bad if, if you go there and you say, hey, one person, you know, subscribed to this in the last week or whatever, you know. Here you could do page visits. You could do these page visits could be an aggregate across your whole site. You can, of course, do conversions. So live conversions against your uh, your forms uh, and your website. And I like this one. This is kind of the one that I saw on Design Pickle, and they call it a combo. So you'll see the style here. And you know, if I go back to Design Pickle, you'll see this. It's a combo. It's how many things something happened over a period of time, and that's kind of what this combo one is. And um, stream is where you can put that face. I personally don't like that. It, it, you know, if you like it, that's for you. Let's actually, um, for this demo purpose, I'm going to do a page visit because it's probably going to be the easiest one um, to set up. So I'm going to click on page visit. And literally, you'll see it's just a six-step onboarding process here to get me going there. Let's go ahead and put in our full page visits to the home page. And it's just that simple. Now, you'll notice that you can do a whole bunch of uh, of advanced type of scripting. And you can put as many URLs as you want in here. Um, very nice to do that. You can even do some um, uh, some wildcard type things. Now, this is where would you like you to s display it. So, same concept. Where do you want to display it? I'm just going to display I'm going to keep it simple in this. I'm going to put it on the home page as well. But you can put this on your actual lead generating page. So, you can have you know many of these specifically for uh, the call to action or targets or the social proof that you're trying to get on that particular page and you can customize it uh, when we get down to message uh, for each one notice I could put this on multiple pages I'm just gonna put it on the home page for now and then the message so what do you want to call your visitors I want to call them tech smart bosses just to have fun in this message text um, visited the website let's say this is where you can put that little uh, uh, GIF, animated GIF, perhaps. Uh, you know, I'm going to, I don't have a cool one all set up. And uh, let's click on this little link that they give us. Let's search for a, um, I don't know, I, I'm not very creative right now. Let's just search for a spinning globe. That's the first thing that came to my mind there. And um, I don't see where these are necessarily animated. But. Does it tell me to do it said right click on the icon copy the image address uh, I'm not actually getting okay here we go well I'll come back to that later I should be able to get that a little easier but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open a link in a new tab Oh, interesting. Copy image address. There we go. All right. So just for fun, let's just put that there. And right, okay, that's if you're using different languages, you can go there. Okay, got that set up. Now, customize. Oh, look, it's going to give me a little preview. Now, I didn't use a GIF, so it's just a globe. But you can see, it's already giving me a live preview here. 50 tech smart bosses to visit the website in the past 41 minutes. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, honestly... I, I like how easy this is, how it's giving you live feedback. You can change your colors, title color. You know, I'm always partial to 005 FAC as my color scheme. I like that little off gray there where you want to put it. Bottom left is perfect for these kind of things. Let's see, a lot of them to close. Got a little X on there if you want them to. Clickable. I can click it to a URL. I like that. That's That's very actionable. Some timing rules, display rules, how many times people see it, only once per session, all kind of cool stuff. This is this has got a lot of features. I really like this. And let's just give it a name. Home page visit gave me a little recommendation, I think, just because I don't think it's because I put it in my home page. It has no way to know that. But boom, I just launched it. Hey guys, it really can't be any easier than that. And with the integration with Zapier. And some of the other things that you can do with this, you can get extremely powerful. Uh, I did a very simple one, but 
I've, I've got a lot of things I can explore inside this software and I'm, I'm just really impressed with how easy it is to get started out of the box I, i've played with a couple of these not too many because you know not necessarily my thing but this one right here might be my thing because it, it it looks just a little bit more credible to me and there it is look at that one text mark boss visit the site in the past six minutes by proof source and of course you're getting a little bit of you know action there if i click on that that's going to take me out to them they have an affiliate program. Maybe you can tie that up and get a little bit of something for that. We, you know, we don't do affiliate links here on TechSmart Boss. I noticed Design Pickle had a white label version. That's why I had to inspect the element on that. So could be a paid feature to, 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 to bump up to that as well. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check it out. This might be something to help you with uh, your site. If you like these sorts of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook page, and check out TechSmartBoss.com, and sign up for our newsletter and all the things that we do. Talk to you on the next video.